This is the Iowa Weather Report for Tuesday, August 28th, 2012. Now it's time to look at the 0Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we have Isaac making landfall at the mouth of the Mississippi. Around here, we have a ridge trying to build in from the south and west. We trough to our east and high pressure to our north and east may have some morning fog otherwise then it'll be mostly sunny and we're very warm highs in the 80s and 90s and that might that's going to be the case all most of the week Wednesday still about the same highs 80s in the 90, 80s and into the 90s as Isaac slowly moves north through Louisiana Thursday it's still over northern and northwestern Louisiana according to the GFS we have a weak boundary to our north and west but that's looking pretty pitiful at this point so any rainfall from that will disappear to the east so we look to our south to Isaac which will be the remnant by this point near or just east of Joplin could see some rain moving in Friday afternoon into the far southern and southeastern counties and then Saturday it'll be moving out as the center begins to lift up into the east and northeast and then we'll have a little bit of cooler weather coming down behind this system, a bit cooler, highs at least into the 80s at this point, maybe a low 90 or two. And then Sunday, it looks fairly tranquil, but then another cold front will come in here late Sunday night and into Monday, Labor Day, with some showers and maybe a thunderstorm, but it's going to be dependent on what Isaac does, and according to this run, Isaac is just going to be stuck over the Ohio Valley, so... We look to a week from today on the 4th, the day after Labor Day. Storm track is down near the U.S. Canadian border. We pretty much have a west-east flow across the country, a ridge over the south, and some rainfall. There could be some scattered showers around here, but best chance of rain along the eastern seaboard with the remnants of Isaac still. We're still talking about it even a week from now. A couple days later, on the 8th, we have a big upper-level vortex over eastern Canada, a ridge pumping itself up over the prairie provinces of Canada, otherwise a west to northwesterly flow around here aloft, and high pressure just to our east as warmer weather will be starting to come back in. Could see seasonal temperatures if this is right, highs in the 80s, uh, lower to lower 80s at this point, lower to middle 80s, I should say. The end of the forecast on the 12th we have a pretty wavy pattern there's that vortex over eastern Canada again and pretty much a west to east flow across the country a bit wavy and maybe some scattered showers and storms with a storm system that'll be moving through our neck of the woods so it's looking like it could be quite active at least into the September but last night looking at the satellite image we had a cold front or a trough at this point moving through New England down into the Ohio Valley and then we have Isaac and everywhere else it's quiet so Isaac in the Gulf of Mexico let's take a look at it closely this was with winds at the time of 70 miles per hour you can see it's very much displaced to the south the center is located actually just north of this big blob close to that small blob at the top and the tropical models had a, have, are pretty good about it. The light blue one you see moving through Alabama and Tennessee is the Clipper and that's a statistical model and it's pretty much worthless. All the other models take it to the northwest and then north and then east and this is the Hurricane Center track. Makes landfall Tuesday afternoon at the mouth of the Mississippi. Moves over New Orleans at a crawl. Then finally begins to move up and then up into Missouri and then over into Illinois by Saturday evening. Looking at the watch warning map from last night, the hurricane warnings extend from the Alabama-Florida border to near Morgan City, including New Orleans. Some inland it warnings with that as well as some flood issues. Nothing around here, however. And the QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, showing there's the rainfall around here, maybe upwards of a half an inch south of a Davenport to Washington to Centerville line.